All right, everybody, we are starting on our bandsaw safety here today, and uh, I'm going to go over the major points um, for your safety quiz. Um, this is a real good introduction to using the bandsaw, and of course, all the safety features that we need to know with it. Um, Taking a look at our bandsaw, this is called bandsaw, is the wheels here, when they rotate around, there is a blade in there, and that's in the shape of like a rubber band. So the band is a blade. And whenever it is moving, it is cutting. So the idea of it, when it's turning, it's pushing your blade or your board down. The blade's pushing the board down. Um, it is not vibrating up and down like a jigsaw would be. Instead, it's cutting at all times. Okay. Uh, bandsaw is very good for basically curved cut. So if I would like to take and make a cut like this, the bandsaw is very good to take and trace that around. It is not good for making lines perfectly straight. Okay, so if I want this line parallel to this line, the bandsaw is not a very good uh, option for something like that. Um, so, take a look at the bandsaw. First and foremost, take a visual look and make sure that the blade guard is down very close to the material. The rule is actually an eighth of an inch above the material. Uh, sometimes it's like having about five pieces of paper there and uh, the thickness of the paper would be about the right width. Um, regardless, um, what I've will be watching is making sure it's not like two or three inches above the material. You want that very close to the material, okay? Uh, the next one is that your fingers are to the side. Um, whenever you're using the bandsaw, I want you to have your push stick with you. And uh, our push sticks um, we make as a, as a project here. You should have it in your locker. Bring it over when you use the bandsaw every time. Okay, so I'll turn it on. We wait for it to reach full speed. Um, then I have my fingers to the side. I'm standing in front of it. Um, I'm going to take and I can go ahead and turn those so that I can make that cut. Now, if I'm a little bit off the line, then I'd go over the disc sander, spindle sander, belt sander, something like that, and take and clean that up. Now, if I had to make a very tight curve, what I would have to do first is I take and I cut in and I make a relief cut so that those chunks fall out. Okay? Uh, the band saw, uh, you can only make the curves that that blade allows it. If it's a real thick curve, um, we wouldn't make very big curves at all. Um, these can do a moderate curve, but not a really tight curve like this. So, in order to get my release cuts in here, I'll take, take that to the side. Okay, so you can see on the other side, those are my relief cuts. Then as I go around here, Those chunks then fall out as I'm uh, cutting it, giving it some relief on the blade. And that helps uh, to take in and make those curves a little bit harder. Okay. Again, my push stick is here to keep my fingers away. Okay. Um, once I'm done, taking a visual look at my machine. Okay. I have guards are always in place. Um, a lot of, I have my push stick to keep my fingers farther than two inches. Our, our rule is farther than two inches away from the blade. Um, as you can see, in the back, chunks of wood fall out every now and again. Um, the push stick is real good for getting those chunks of wood away from the blade. You would not reach around the blade when the machine is running. Instead, you would take uh, um, the push stick or a chunk of wood, something like that. Okay, um, otherwise, you know, the main thing is that the guards are in place, your fingers are in the right spot, you have your push stick. Um, there is some, some qualities of the bandsaw where it'll tilt and stuff like that. Um, we're not going to be too um, into doing that very often. It's, it's bas basically we're going to use a bandsaw for these types of things here. So um, safety glasses, we're not talking to people around us. And uh, with that, you should be able to take the quiz just fine. Thanks.